Well, there's the first gator I've seen. He's about 12 feet. There's two alligator. One is up on the mud, getting some sun. About a eight foot or so. And then a little one below him, about six foot. So far, I've gone about a mile and a half and about every 500 yards there'll be one about that big maybe bigger that's an eight footer but I've seen 110 that's a pretty good population well this is okay by me uh, this is the second outing of this boat, <clears throat> and I bought it, put it together for coming down in this area, because a year ago when I was coming in the kayak, which I enjoy, there are just too many of those things around, and those are like eight footers going going nine ten but eight anyway <clears throat> but last year last year right about now there was one 14 foot 800 pounds you know I can I can eyeball things pretty accurately and so I just didn't dare bring the kayak again and so I got this boat and I got two rods set but I'm after catfish and man this is the life that alligator's getting the sun on his back about 80 degrees, sitting on that mud bank at about 50 degrees. Perfect. It's uh, February 14th, 2013. So, a couple, one night out on the lake here, <clears throat> fish tonight. I don't know if I'll fish here all night. But, uh, <clears throat> see how it goes. Give a report in a little while. Get real close. Well, you can tell what time it is. And I got the boat way over here in the lee of this land. Real nice out. And uh, going to stay aboard. There's a strike. There's a strike. There's a strike. There's a strike. Yeah. Well, nope. lost it. Uh, I got some pretty good bait on. I found I've got my my fresh water clam. Now that better sharpen that hook. There's I got more bait. I got a lot of bait around here. So. That's a report, sundown report. Staying overnight, it's going to be just starlight, brilliant. Uh, the atmosphere is really clear, so it'll be a really outstanding. Lots of wildlife around.
And not too many alligators over here. They're up top of that river over there. There. Strike! 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 What do we got? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. 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 Got him. A little one, it looks like. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this would be number three if I can get him on. Got three today, or two. This would be number three. Catfish. That's what I'm after. So he took that crab, or not crab, that's a clam. Nice. There it is. Is it a cat? Sure it is. So we're catching. I'm catching fish. That's the main thing. I'm putting them on a stringer. Oh man, what do we got? What do we got here? Here is a nice fish. Here's a nice bass. Hee <laughs> hee. Nice. Okay, let's. That's a good sized little drum. Dang it. Okay, let's get him in. All right, signing out until I see some stars worth filming. So we did good. We boated three fish already. Mighty fine down here in South Texas. Adios. Till morning. Well, I can make a report now because the boat is secured, and I came way over here because I wanted to get out of the winter weather, the, the north wind, as we're having it, so... Okay, um, there's, I didn't want to go up further because there's a lot, of, the alligators really are sunning up here, and this is so protected, I'll bet, I'll bet if I went further there'd be that giant one. Now, I wouldn't doubt if something up there, it looks like a tree actually moves off the shore. That's how big they are. So I'm safe in my boat. I guess. The wild hogs tore up right here. Not like last night. Well, maybe over there. Yeah. So I don't need any more fish either. I got all the fish I need. So I'm going to just kind of take it easy for a while. Well, like I was saying earlier, I've only been here about 20 minutes. But like I was saying, you just see if something moves. If like a tree trunk moves. Just sit, sit here long enough to see if a tree trunk starts moving. So that's what I'm doing. I think I see a tree trunk on the ground moving way over there. Well, 
here's report. Blah, 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 blah. And I think I was wrong about that log over there moving. But since I was looking this away, a oil well has sprung up. <laughs> Looks like a branch of that tree. You know, this is the fracking area. And <laughs> so that Derek or whatever it is there hiding in the old dead oak tree is kind of becoming a familiar landscape here in South Texas. Whether you like it or not, whether the alligators like it or not, uh, I'm going to go visit a friend here in a little while. He owns a big ranch over here, that away. I go visit. <coughs> If they're home, I'll call them here in a minute, a little while. So, things are changing. Oh, well, you know, whatever that means. But, uh, <laughs> a oil well growing out of that dead tree. Wasn't there about a month ago. Well, <laughs> waiting for an alligator to do something exciting. Huh. You better sit down. So they're just over there lounging around. So I'm going to make some coffee. You perked me up so I got can pay attention to these alligators. Let you know if anything's going on. this alligator world well you can identify that sound oh wait for that to boil meanwhile back on the pond <laughs> Bait. No mother lines had any fish <laughs> surprised the hell out of me that I had to have one on that drop line I had two broken hooks. I can't figure that out because they weren't even baited. You mean the steel was broken or bent? Yeah, no, they're broken. Bro the tips were broke off of them. They're just, yeah, they look like they've been bent a little bit and then the tips were broken on two of them and I know they didn't have any bait and they weren't like that when I left. <laughs> 